In developing news, a major grass fire near Sullivan City that required several crews to respond was started by someone burning trash illegally. It's a problem that unfortunately occurs too often in the valley. CBS 4's Joel Flores explains. Strong winds fueled flames that burned over 700 acres of brush Wednesday and over 25 crews were on the scene working to put out the flames. Yesterday we only had um, one one brush truck and one tanker there, but there was also multiple cities from throughout the valley and some of the Texas Forest Service dozers on location. Because the fire was started by illegal trash burning, fire investigators want to warn the public that due to dry conditions throughout the valley, negligently burning trash can come with a price. They need to take in consideration that they can be responsible, held responsible for uh, any damages that occur because of a fire that they set, they're also subject to a citation as well for burning illegally. That's why you should check weather conditions prior to burning, and you must have a source of water nearby. But that's not all. It needs to be at least 200 to 250 feet away from any buildings or homes. It needs to be at least 100 feet, 150 feet away from any roadway. And it needs to have a disc line or completely down to dirt anywhere around that uh, pile. The county does prepare for situations such as these and now has more equipment and manpower needed to handle them. It's brush trucks like these that firefighters use to drive over high amounts of brush, but at the same time, hose down from the sides and the back, areas of brush that are engulfed in flames. The Hidalgo County Wildland Task Force is equipped with additional brush trucks, bulldozers, and tankers that hold up to 3,500 gallons of water. These army trucks that we now take to grass fires and uh, that can uh, has better access with this type of, of truck. We. Uh, we stopped it. We stopped the fire before it got to those, thank goodness. In Hidalgo County, Joel Flores, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.